man. What's the deal, Joe? It's your boy Finesse Hustle, man. Back with another star in the hood prison stories. You know how I'm rocking, man, out here. Enjoying the weather, man. I get outside as much as I can. Cause goddamn, I remember I'd be, it'd be lights out for me and my little kids would still be all tight shit. So any chance I get, I'm gonna catch that breeze. You already know. But shit, today though, man, I'm gonna talk about Minnesota prison system. How that shit set up. So first you get, first of all, let me let y'all know they go by the point system, kind of like how the feds go by the point system. So in the feds, they might like say like yo, st a state charge you got when they using that against you when they depend when they um, calculating up your sentence and shit. One state charge equal three points in the feds. So back to Minnesota, they go off kind of like the same point system. So one whole felony will be oh uh, well let me say a certain kind of felony say like a first degree second degree felony and shit that'd be a whole point so they got a grid system so uh, from there on the grid it determine if you're in a gray area so the gray area be like where you get like 18 months 17 months that shit still probation type shit you know what i'm saying for forgery little shit you know probably like a bunch of thefts on your record shit like that so, you know, uh, you have some shit like that going on. So, and say you from out of state or whatever, they gonna, these motherfuckers gonna goddamn use that shit against you like they do everywhere else, but they gonna add a point to that shit. So say like in the state where you from, say you had like a low ass um, felony and shit, and it just kind of sent you over the edge that you had to go sit and do some prison time or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Up here, they gonna count that bitch as at least a half a point. And then them bitches gonna add up. So like misdemeanors gonna add up on your ass. So three, you know, three misdemeanors equal a felony in most states. You know what I'm saying? So, um, goddamn, once they do you like that, say once you off the grid, so let me tell you this. Once you off the grid, that means you got seven points or better. So then they start hitting you with a, a law called the Blakely Law in Minnesota where they give you shit on demand channel numbers of 158 type shit, you know? You don't want to do that. So they could they, uh, beat you as a, a career criminal. That's what they call the Blakely Law. It's kind of like a three strikes, but it's more than that. You know what I'm saying? Because you could be, say you a nigga that get caught with guns all the time. They might hit your ass with the Blakely Law. You, now that you say you get caught with guns, but now it involves a shooting or a violent crime, they hit you with the Blakely Law. Sit you all the way back for a long ass time. And then, uh, once they sentence you a shit, so they had to add all them points up. So say you got like four or five points, you pretty much got a chance. Your chances is probably a damn near 100. Your ass going to the joint in Minnesota and shit, you know? So they gonna send you. It's off top, mandatory minimum. It's five years for the banger. Get you fuck with these pistols and shit. They gonna put your ass away for about a no. Uh, uh, they gonna ski you sixty. You gonna do about forty off that. If you go to boot camp, you will do six months. So, but everybody go do this soon. So when you get sentenced, you go to prison or whatever. Boom, you gonna go to St. Cloud and shit. It's an old ass prison. You know what I'm saying? They, they still, it's, it's the ancient shit. The motherfucking big ass wall and all that. Uh, the motherfucking guard tower with a banger in and all that shit like that. The real TV shit. So you get in there, that shit set up just the same way. Long ass tiers, bars and shit. They got they shit on the motherfucking chain. Big ass shit, boom. They rolling this big ass thing when they open the doors and shit. Niggas, they got padlocks on the doors. Um, the bottom cells for sure look like caves. They said they was and shit. You know what I'm saying? They got a curry in that bitch. It's built around the curry. You know what I'm saying? So the curry in the inside or whatever and shit, you can see that shit when you hit the yard. You know what I'm saying? They got showers in the motherfucking, uh, in the gym type shit. You know, this shit like real deal type shit where motherfuckers gonna be sitting there for a while. So they, they try to... Well, at least they think they they making that shit comfortable and shit. That shit, there's more duck-off spots, you know what I'm saying? So, 
uh, from there you will be in you will be in like e house they call it. That's like the intake and shit. So that's where you get all your diagnostics. They find out if you really a weirdo in the head. So if you need mental help and shit like that, and niggas that need mental help, they'll probably send them to a complex. I think it's three or four. Don't quote me on that, but it's in Old Park Heights and shit. That's the maximum security. So they find out what what you really on and all that, and then they got this shit how they do it. To me, it's bogus as hell. So they uh, they go by point system and shit. They kind of like depending on your crime, everything get calculated and put in a category and shit. So they might say since you had this kind of crime or you did this and that or you've been locked up in jail before you more likely to reoffend, so they'll put your points up so that determines what prison you go to so if you got 18 points and under you'll go to a medium security prison if you got um what is it so you got be yeah, up 18 points and under all the way up i say to like six you will be in medium so so six to 18 points you will be in medium then um six on under six you'll go to like a camp low security and shit like that so if your point's like 21 or higher you go to a, a close custody they call it but everybody start off in close custody that same cloud but it's intake too so you get a little ski taste of how that shit can be you know it's a little bit more serious in there because niggas is really big and they got to be there for a while so they want to get situated so um the the popular belief is niggas get a gang of time they and that bitch going crazy that's what motherfuckers out here say like boy they give me 50 years i'm being that bitch going crazy no you're not you gonna be in that bitch if you got any sense you're gonna be in that bitch trying to fight to get up out that motherfucker getting with motherfuckers that been in there doing that shit you know what i'm saying you're gonna be finding out about new shit about your case you ain't know about because that really what your mindset you know what i'm saying so now you in that bitch you're gonna be in that bitch probably doing shit like that you know maybe your first few years you might wild out if you a young nigga you know who knows but uh yeah for sure you're gonna go through st cloud so from there they get to put you off where you need to be at if you want to boot camp they gonna see you down to moose lake moose lake is sweet but it's lame as hell it's sweet you be in the dormitories and shit me personally i ain't really like the dormitories because you be in a uh well it's, it's kind of like a dormitory setting so you be in an eight-man cell so it take like two years to get to um a two-man cell or a single bunk rather you know what i mean and that depends on how you working and shit so you'll go to boot camp from there and shit and shit you get down there you gonna have drug treatment or shit you gonna be good you ain't got no drug treatment when niggas doing drug treatment and shit like that you will be buffing floors and all that shit so you know uh getting back to the joint though that's just the i said that shit about boot camp because that's a program that can lower your time and shit then they got other programs if you're a first time offender you will do uh i think you will do like one third of your time yeah you'll do one third because uh minnesota you do two thirds of your time and shit so uh um, you will be up in there and shit and niggas be trying to reach out to these programs like they got a little church program and shit it really ain't shit i mean it is they call that bitch like christian mingle and shit be some weird shit going on up in that motherfucker too but niggas will go there so that um it look good on they on they little uh base file as they get making parole and shit like that a lot of lifers this is a good program for lifers and shit you know what i'm saying and uh so they'll go there and then that'll help them kind of like make parole because when you in the church program you're going through like all these critical thinking skills and shit like that doing paperwork and all that you got classes and shit so that shit kind of like get them lifers on the right track or whatever they got to do and shit they got to have weekly meetings and shit so that's good for them niggas and shit and then uh when you in a medium joint your points go down even any joint you in your points go down so the higher your points the longer you gonna stay in that prison so say say you a nigga that got 21 points you just made it to close custody so you got what you got to get the 18 points so every six months your points go down three points and then if you do some 
your shit go back up. One, one write up, one little ticket might send your shit back over the stratosphere. Your ass would be in that bitch sick as hell. You know what I'm saying? You probably done had your visit set up because you closer to the crib. All the niggas that's from St. Paul, Minneapolis, we be trying to get back to the crib and shit. I'm from Chicago personally, but I, you know, I came up out of the cities and shit. So we trying to get back towards that way to catch these visits. You know what I'm saying? All type of shit is more convenient. The guards more understand and more relaxed because they in a city setting they self but they live in a city you know what i'm saying so when you weigh out out your element and shit what people ain't used to dealing with certain kind of cultures and shit beliefs and all that that shit get pretty hard for you you know what i'm saying and you ain't got no control over so you know it'd be mind over matter at that time you know but um yeah but other than that that shit be smooth and shit you know you got beef, some little street beef, catch that sale. You know what I'm saying? Niggas really be trying to catch the cut because you in that bitch, you in jail to go home, right? So whatever you gonna do, it got it gotta be, you know, masked at, at least, you know what I'm saying? Some shit might pop off in the day room, but if it can be talked out or fought out in the cut, that's what niggas gonna do, man. A lot of niggas don't even be wanna catch themselves. So in Minnesota and shit, it be low key and shit. Niggas do they thing though, you know what I mean? But mainly a motherfucker in that bitch trying to play that phone, knock some, get some son to their books. Typical jail shit that go on and shit, little drugs, whatever you want to call it, you know, pills, you know, that shit, the epidemic in the streets and in jail. Niggas gonna, nigga, a motherfucker take goddamn, I done seen niggas take motherfucking uh, melatonin and shit and fight that shit, you know what I mean? Like they gotta lean high, you know? That's what niggas do to cope and shit. Some niggas work out, some niggas read books, some niggas do a mixture of both, you know what I'm saying? But shit, you know, like I always say, I ain't gonna talk y'all head off though. Just keep tuning in, you know what I'm saying? I'ma keep dropping these bitches like I do all the time, man. It's your boy Finesse Hustle, man. Keep fucking with me.